News for Jax is Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Well, what a chill around Christmas time. In fact, some of the coldest weather we've seen in about 12 years and one of the coldest Christmases we've seen in a couple of decades out there. And now we're going to do almost a complete 180 and have some very warm conditions as we head into New Year's weekend. So what exactly is going on here? Well, we have had a big trough that's been sitting across the East United States across much of uh, really dipping all the way down to Florida during the Christmas time. That is going to begin its move off into parts of the Atlantic waters, and that's going to open the door for this area right here, which is a ridge of high pressure. It will begin to slowly work its way across the eastern U.S. over the next couple of days. That's going to bring more of a southerly and southwesterly flow to the southeastern U.S., which is going to result in a pretty rapid warm up as we head into the next couple of days. In fact, 70 is very likely it looks like as we head into Thursday and Friday. So we're going to be trading in those winter coats for potentially rain jacket. This is New Year's Eve and you can see a lot of rainfall out there as a storm system is going to approach the region. I don't think it's going to be a total washout, but some scattered showers likely throughout much of the day as some of us get ready for New Year's Eve celebrations this is Saturday at five o'clock. You can see a lot of rainfall across much of North Florida and Southeast Georgia. I was optimistic that a lot of the rain would be out of here by midnight. The updated computer models kind of showing you can see this area of blue and green over much of the region, so it may be kind of a soggy New Year's Eve. However, it's going to be a warm one. Temperatures at midnight only down in the 60s. I do think as New Year's Day itself progresses, we'll eventually begin to see this rain move off into parts of the Atlantic, and so it's some improvement during the New Year's Day time period. In fact, we're going to be dealing with temperatures back into the mid 70s, it looks like, as we start 2023. And if you like the warm weather, get this. We're going to be talking about temperatures hanging out in the 70s, likely through the week and the long range computer guidance all the way through mid January, indicating temperatures above average. So the 40s and 30s we've been dealing with the last several days are going to be a distant memory. It looks like as we head into the start of 2023. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, the local station.